In this video, we're going to look at an example of sketching a quadric surface. So this one's asking us to use traces to sketch and identify the surface 25x squared plus 4y squared plus z squared equals 10, or excuse me, equals 100. All right, we can actually identify the surface by the equation and not worry about traces. And we'll do the traces here in a second, though. So how can we identify this surface rather quickly? Well, we notice that each of the variables have been squared. And each of the variables are all positive. Okay. So the, each of the variables are squared, each of the variables are positive, tells us that we either have a sphere or an ellipsoid. Those are the only two possibilities. In order for this to be a sphere, we would have to have the exact same coefficient on all three of these terms. The coefficients here are different, so it can't be a sphere, it must be an ellipsoid. All right, so to figure out what the traces are, let's go through and put the individual variables equal to zero where we need to and see what kind of a shape we get. So if we put z equal to zero, consider the xy trace, we get the uh, ellipse 25x squared plus 4y squared equals 100. We're going to put this in typically what we refer to as standard form. We'll divide both sides by 100. Dividing both sides by 100 here will give you x squared over 4 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. Having 1 on this right hand side is what puts this ellipse in standard form. The number in the denominator, the square root of that tells you how far out and back in the x direction you move from the center. The square root of the number in the denominator for the y squared tells you how far left or right in the y direction you go. So this is going to go out and back two units and left and right five units, as we can see on the graph. The xz trace comes about by putting y equal to zero. We get the equation 25x squared plus z squared equals 100. Dividing both sides by 100 again puts this in standard form. We go out and back two units. We go each from the center. We go up and down 10 units from the center. So that's this ellipse here. And then finally for the yz trace, we get the equation 4y squared plus z squared equals 100. Divided by 100, you get y squared over 25 plus z squared over 100 equals 1. We go left and right, 5 units, and up and down, 10 units. So we can see from the traces now that we have this ellipsoid looking figure. And then we shade in the rest to see what the ellipsoid, ellipsoid actually looks like. 